Today we're going to scrap out something a little different. Um, a 8mm projector. Now, before you freak out about the projector, it's A, filthy. B, I'm making it into a uh, sculpture, probably a robot. And uh, I don't need the guts. And C, they only sell for $15 to $30 on eBay when they're in working condition. So this one has had the cord cut previously, um, or no, actually the cord's inside. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, it's just in filthy condition. Uh, inside's fairly clean. We can start by just popping the cover off. Right there, it is cast aluminum, so you do get a couple good chunks of cast aluminum out of it. A uh, little bit to clean. I'm not going to clean this off because I'm using the case. But uh, if you're cleaning it for cast aluminum, you'll have to take that steel off. And basically, there's the cord. We'll cut the cord off. I'll sell the reel for five or seven, eight bucks maybe. And uh, get the cord off here. So I'll get a little bit of copper out of that. There. Save that piece though. Cut it as close as possible. Okay, so we got some two strand and with the two strand I trim the uh, plugs off because this is a different a higher grade and we've got a little bit of brass here we'll just take it out the way it is your fingers get strong by doing that by the way so a little bit of brass and what do we got this is what we have here don't have that many screws that's riveted together but the back does come off, so we'll show you that. We'll just pop these off. <laughs> That's not going to come off easy, is it? Okay. What we'll have to do... Take these off. This front piece. Holding things together. These are the arms for the projector. They would pop out. But I don't know what. We'll use them for something else. There's a little bit of cast aluminum there. But you'd have to pop this off. See, that's how these would... So that didn't do anything, of course, but you do have some more clean aluminum there. You'll have to pop these out. Okay, now take the back off here. How do we do that here? Hmm, hmm, hmm. How are we going to do that? Appears that that was just the adjuster knob for the uh, front leg. So I guess what we're looking at is taking these out to get the back panel off. So let's do that. So get the right screwdriver or not driver or rather.
panel is released. It should be released. No, well, maybe not. That panel just does not want to come off, does it? We have some rivets. How do we want to start here? Can't get in there. Nope, she doesn't want to open up. Okay, let me look at this for a few minutes. Upon closer inspection, found out that uh, the rivets weren't rivets they were uh, 3 16 bolts and they're very close to the uh, surface so using um, two different 3 16 uh, sockets only one would take them all out because it was uh, dished or the sockets are dished a little bit and uh, only one would take them all Anyway, so, they're all out, we've got uh, a bunch of the bolts there, and easy enough, sure enough, the rest of it comes out, right there. So there's the rest of your unit. So, what we're going to have to do is cut the wires to the motor. And we're going to cut the uh, belt because it's keeping it in place. <laughs> Excuse me. And cut the wires going to the motor. So there's the center piece taken out right there. Now I just want to see if it goes back together properly for my robot plan. Yeah, it'll it'll fit together. That's good. All right. Now that comes off because we already released these. And we have the motor, the shroud there. It's just plastic. Motor is attached by a couple nuts so we'll have to get in there right there I don't know if you can see the uh, nuts there there we go right there got a couple of them so what size are they they're not 3 16 uh, perhaps they're the same size as my nut driver. Yeah, there we go. Or same size as the multi-bit screwdriver. And just bend these fan things up instead of worrying too much about them. We're going to have to get a nut driver in there, unfortunately. All right, so I'll have to go hunt for that. Got one. And we'll just take the motor out. Like that. And like that. So we're just taking those two, two bolts out relieves the unit of the motor. So we got both those bolts out. And I'll just put them with the other ones. So we have a nice chunk of copper in there that we can harvest. Should be able to harvest that fairly easy, I would think. And uh, the stator in there will just uh, we'll probably take it out 
so we can easier access the copper. Actually, we might not have to. Anyway, we'll deal with that later. We'll get back to the rest of the projector. Okay, uh, if you're scrapping this out, obviously there's going to be a little bit of uh, a leg to take off here, which is easy enough. You've just got a uh, little C clip there. I forget what they're called. And a little piece of steel, a little piece of bake light that you can smash off with a hammer, and Sort of review. Basically, we ended up with uh, three good chunks of uh, cast aluminum, some shred, which uh, you can still pull a few little pieces of cast aluminum off. There's a couple little pieces if you wanted to start um, basically grinding rivets and that sort of thing. Um, probably not going to be worth it. You might be able to sell the odd part off of it. Uh, maybe the toggle switch, uh, the film guides, um, maybe the uh, lens, possibly the motor if the motor, if you didn't screw up the motor like I did. Um, I was going to just take the stator out, but I've got to crush that a bit more or work at uh, taking the fan off with an Allen wrench. And uh, another chunk of cast aluminum. And that's about it. Uh, you got the cord and you got the reel, if the reel is still with yours. And uh, there's the base. So that's basically what we ended up with. Uh, you might have a few little pieces of stainless from the screws and such, but that's going to be about it. Uh, so the most valuable thing, I don't know, motor perhaps, the aluminum, uh, it's negligible as to what uh, is worth a little more. But to me, the most value for this was going to be part of my sculpture. So that's what's going to happen to the case. I'll put, I'll strip this more to take off the bits and pieces for my creative projects and uh, use them for that and then uh, put it back together partly so I can uh, make my robot out of it. So you'll see that in a future video. Um, probably a ways away yet but I'd like to get my uh, my studio set up before I start working on some of my art projects. So anyway, happy scrapping folks. That's it. Take care.